R.C. Captain. That can. Hey guys. Uh, I have been getting a lot of questions about my radio and uh, the mod modifications I've done to it. Uh, the first thing I did was to, it's a Futaba T6J and uh, when it comes standard it has an internal antenna and you can get a little better range on the 2.4 GHz band by uh, installing an external antenna instead. So that's what I've done and I will show you how and then I have installed another module, a OpenLRS uh, module 433 MHz uh, which gives a lot better range um, and on that module I have this uh, homemade dipole antenna which are really easy to make and uh, uh, they improve the range a lot so uh, I will uh, show you how this looks inside the transmitter and uh, I will show you how I did it with these modifications and the screwdriver you just unscrew the, the four screws and you take take the back plate off the transmitter When you've done this, you can see basically everything that is in the transmitter. So here's the standard module. Here is the pigtail cable, which I've installed. I bought that off eBay and uh, it comes with a connector. So you just disconnect the original antenna and then you connect this one instead uh, and just drill a hole and uh, screw that uh, that connector in place. Now to the other bit, the Open LRS uh, RX unit. It's a uh, Hobby Kings Open LRS unit, and uh, they can be flashed with the Open LRS NG firmware to act as a um, TX unit instead and uh, in that case you need the pin out so you know where to connect your wires but the thing I've done is to connect it is to go from the trainer port just uh, seek out which wires goes where uh, that's the signal wire you have the plus wire there 5 volt plus and then I've taken the ground cable. The original original ground cable is there, and I just cut it from there. I have uh, connected, uh, soldered a wire, which goes into my um, my switch, uh, a two pole switch, which uh, makes it makes it easy for me to switch between the two frequencies because when I have it that way uh, I have one unit powered and one powered off and then when I uh, do like that uh, it powers off that unit and then it it uh, connects the other powers on so it's uh, it's very easy to switch between the the two units uh, you should of course uh, turn your transmitter off when switching between the two but it's very easy to do. So I have I cut the the ground cable, I let it into the switch, and then I have connected that blue wire to one of the the pins on the switch, and the other one, uh, the other pin on the switch goes to where the the ground should go on my. Um, LRS unit. So that's pretty easy if you just just know the the pinouts. Uh, it's available on the web, uh, so it's pretty easy to find. Also on my webpage rccaptain.com, 
you can find a tutorial on how to do this and uh, I have besides this I have connected a uh, buzzer because this unit uh, is flashed with a telemetry backlink as it's called uh, which means that if I get bad reception if it loses packets um, this will start to beep so the the worse the reception is um, the more it's gonna beep so I know when it's time to turn back and head home and also those two yellow cables right there are for the bind switch which has to has to be there uh, on this OpenLRS unit. You use that uh, amongst other for the fail for testing the failsafe and uh, for binding with your receiver. So I think that's uh, basically it. Uh, it's pretty easy to do if you ju just know your know your way around uh, soldering and. Uh, you get a little, if you have a little electronic skills, uh, you can easily do this by yourself. Just uh, seek out what, where, where the, um, where the pins are and where the wires should go. So um, please leave a comment, and, and uh, I hope to see you soon. Goodbye.